why you should not automate your ATM business when getting started. That's what we're going to talk about on this video right here. Hey there, my name is Carrie Buck, ATM business owner since 2009, ATM business mentor since 2011. Click that link in the description if you'd like to learn more about the ATM business or if you'd like me to help you. Don't forget to like this video and uh, hit that subscribe button wherever it is. Hit that ATM in the corner, subscribe to this channel, bell notification. Uh, make sure you get notified of all these videos. Okay, so a lot of people are, love the idea, love the idea of automating their ATM business in the beginning. And I use air tags, but uh, not air tags, quotes, air quotes, air tags. I just saw my stepson just had something. I just saw an air tag. Anyways, um, I don't know why I use air quotes because automation is a real thing, right? So anyways, a lot of people get excited by that, right? You, you love the idea of passive income and not doing anything. Absolutely freaking nothing, right? I get it. I get it. You're inundated with shit on YouTube, on TikTok, on Instagram, on Facebook. All these people telling you how you can make a billion dollars in two weeks by doing nothing but laying on your couch eating bonbons in your boxers. I understand. Okay. Here's the thing. That's, I mean, that's obviously, you know, probably, hopefully that that's not really how things work. Number one. <laughs> Number two, this is what I want to think of. This is what I want you to think about when it comes to your ATM business, okay? First stop, before, before you even consider automating your ATM business, I want you to just first stop, take a minute, and think about why do you want to start an ATM business? Okay, really important. Why do you want to start an ATM business? I'm gonna say probably 90 to 97 and a half percent of you want to get out of your full-time jobs, right? You want to get out of your jobs, right? You, you want to make your own money. You want to have your own freedom, control your own schedule, control everything about your life. That, that's what I think the majority of you want, okay? If that's not you, that's okay. You can post in the comments, tell me what you want, or you can just do this exercise with me anyway, okay? So you want to quit your nine to five job, right? That's, that's your main goal. Well, if that is your main goal, you definitely don't want to start with automating your ATM business. That is not how you want to start your ATM business at all. But why, Carrie? Why don't I want to start with automating my ATM business? Well, I'm going to tell you. Because it's going to take you that much longer to reach your end goal of having to get out of your 9 to 5 job. Why? Because when you're automating your ATM business, that means there's somebody or something responsible for every aspect of your ATM business Guess what you pay out? A lot of your money. Guess what you don't keep in your pocket? A lot of your money, right? Now, if you're okay with that, if you're okay with paying all these other people to take care of your ATM business that you just start and you keep a little bit of money and it takes you longer, a whole lot longer to quit your nine to five job, then go for it. Go for it, do it. You know, I'm not gonna stop you. You know, have at it. But I think uh, the majority of you don't want to take a long time to quit your nine to five jobs. Instead, you'd like to to like it to be a little bit faster, right? You'd like to you know collapse time, right? Not like, oh my god, let's take another fifty freaking years before I quit my nine to five job. No, you don't want that, okay? You want to do it in like three years, okay? That's that's what I think you want to do. Right? So in order to do that, don't automate it. Okay? Don't pay to have somebody uh, place your ATM. Don't pay to uh, find locations. Don't pay somebody to service your machine. Don't pay somebody to install your machine. Don't pay, don't pay, don't pay, don't pay, don't pay, don't, don't pay to do all that shit. Don't do it. In the beginning, do it yourself. Okay? You can do it. You can find locations. Okay? You can install the machine. You can uh, service the machine, right? These machines are, first of all, they're workhorses. They don't take, they, they don't, they don't have that many issues, okay? So that's a no-brainer, okay? You can install the machine, right? If you're a student of mine, I'll show you how to do it, right? Okay? Um, you can find locations, all right? I can, if you're a student of mine, I'll show you how to do it, right? So, you know, you, you get that all taken care of. You don't, you don't want to pay for some 
some uh, some person that's gonna uh, charge you for locations or pay for some software that's gonna charge you some monthly fee to, to give you some locations that you can find on your own or or that you may be able to pay a friend or a family member uh, to find you some locations, right? You know, you don't want to spend all that money to do all that because it's less money in your pocket and then less time it takes to be able to quit your nine to five job. That's number one. It's going to take you longer, way longer to reach your goal. Okay. Number two. Okay. This is really important. Have you ever read the uh, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Hart Becker? So there's a story in there. Hart talks about how he wanted to buy, um, I think it was a bakery shop. It's like a baker, a baker. I should know this by heart because I, I've read this book so many times, listened to it so many times. But it was, it was like a pie shop, I think it was. Pie shop, baker shop, something like that. And he was interested in buying one. So what did he do? He didn't just go buy a pie shop, a baker bakery. No, he went and he worked at a pie shop, at a bakery. He worked, he learned every single job. He did every single job in that pie shop bakery. Even sweeping the floors, everything. Why? Because he, he wanted to learn the business, right? He wanted to learn the business before he was going to invest his money and his time and his effort into buying the business, right? A business like that, right? Does that make sense? So you don't want to just start up a business, not know what the hell's going on, not know what's, what's what, and just be paying everybody to do all this stuff. And you don't, you don't know what happens when the dude that's uh, finding new locations says, you know what? Screw it. I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. But we're, we're now how are you going to find locations? What happens if the uh, 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 software company that you are paying to send you, you know, locations goes out of business? Now what? What happens if the service people that you're paying to uh, service your ATM decide to change all the codes and stuff around in the ATM? And, and now you can't get in there. They decide to reprogram your ATM. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, where, where you don't even know any of the, you don't even know your master passcode. You don't know anything. You don't know your key management passcodes. You don't know anything because you paid somebody to do all this stuff for you, right? What are you, you going to do? What are you going to do then? Guys, you want to know what you're doing first, okay? You want to know this business inside and out. You want to know your business inside and out, right? Inside and out. You know, a lot of people talk about it. And another example for you is rental real estate. People are like, oh, it's so passive. You just get a property management company to do it. Yeah, if, if you're going to take rental real estate and make it that passive where you're just letting a, a, a management company take care of everything, you're going to get screwed. Why? Because when you want to make passive income and, and make a, a decent amount of it, you got to put in some effort. You really do. And that means, in that scenario I just described, you better be managing the management company because if you're not, they're going to take advantage of you, right? So that's the effort and time you got to put in, okay? So don't, you know, fall in love with this idea of passive income that you're going to do nothing and you're going to make a billion dollars and quit your job tomorrow. That's not reality. That's not going to happen, okay? And you might get yourself in a little pickle instead, okay? So instead, pull the reins back, decide, you know what? This is why I want an ATM business. So I want to maximize my profits as much as possible so I can get out of this 9 to 5 job faster, right? And you know what? I want to know everything about the business and understand everything about the business so nobody can ever screw me over super important super there's a lot of shysters in the atm industry i'm sorry I, it's probably like that in a lot of industries but i'm very very familiar with the atm industry i've been in it since 2009 so and, and there's a lot of shady companies a lot of shady people a lot of shadiness right so you need to know your business you need to be able to protect you and your business okay those are two really really important reasons why you should not, you should not automate your ATM business from the beginning. Now, here's the thing. Once you have your business built up, right, and you're making passive income that exceeds your expenses and you decide you want to quit your job and you're, 
living life good. Like you're living a life you want, right? And you know, it's you know, your your passive income is as far exceeding your expenses, right? Well then if you want to automate some of your business and give away some of your profits so you don't do anything or do way less because you still want to manage everything, you gotta keep an eye on things, a little bit of effort, right? Well then go for it. You already got out of the job, right? You already got the, all the bills and everything covered. Go for it, automate it then. Don't do it from the beginning. Don't do it from the beginning. It's gonna take you way too longer to reach your goals because you're not you're not maximizing your your, your profits. And you could get screwed, right? You could screw yourself because you don't know and understand your business. Obviously, it's not you screwing yourself, it's these other people, potentially, right? Now, I'm not saying there's not good people out there. Of course, there's good people out there. But you got to look after you, all right? Hopefully, that makes sense. If you got any questions, post them below. And don't forget, if you like me to help you start your own ATM business, I'm going to save you time, money, and headaches. Click that link in the description. Enter your email, watch the 28-minute training video, and then book a call with my team. All right, Carrie Buck signing out. You have a great day, and may you live happily off of passive income.